You begged me to try out the makeup uh, on the team. You begged. <laughs> why people tend to undermine people was it that i was a small makeup artist <laughs> Hello guys, what's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I am Disney for the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for listening supporting your girl. And if you're new to the channel, Haribu Sana. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to tell you a story of how an influencer here in Kenya refused to pay me my cash. And yeah, right now I can talk about it because I'm healed. I am over that story. And I'm just telling the story so that it can help um, one person or another. Because honestly, whatever I did, whatever I was, you know, naive at some point. And I think that's why this influencer took advantage of me. Yeah. So yeah, and she really talked so bad. Like I didn't expect that from her, cause um, out here she looks so good, so humble. But I believe she has already had her karma, cause you know things happen to her. Yeah, and I believe at times if someone has your debt, like or in any situation it's always good to leave it to god because god is the perfect person to do the vengeance yeah so it happened that uh i quit my job a while back and um, i started doing makeup for those who don't know i'm a makeup artist so you can book me for all your makeup needs anyway yeah i started doing makeup full time and during that time i used to get referrals from friends family yeah and my friends and family are just so supportive like they came through for me they used to refer me to lots of people so this one time a friend of ours a very good family friend uh, recommended me to this influencer and so yeah we linked up we talked and she was like you know i like supporting uh, upcoming makeup artists you know this and that blah blah, blah. but like right now uh, we have a team but once we're in need of you uh, we will communicate so yeah we talked about it and then between the day we met and discussed all that and the day i started working for her was around four months and during that period, I remember I contacted her twice or thrice, asking her if the job is there. And uh, I'm saying this because later on she claimed that I begged her. So yeah, that three times and then I left. I didn't ask her much. Then later on, um, I got a call from her stylist and she called. She said, hi Disney, are you available on this day and this? time i was like yeah i'm available i will come so yeah i arranged and went there and uh, did makeup and during that time i asked her am i working for you guys or and she said um if my team and the model love your work you'll continue working with us so I took that home. I even didn't ask her about any anything else. And guys, a reminder, don't do any work without any contract, without any agreement. Never do that. If you're out there and you're looking for a job, kindly don't start the job. If you don't know the terms and conditions of this job, if you don't know how much you're being paid, don't be naive like me. I started the job and did the work without, you know, consulting or doing anything. Yeah, so yeah, I did the job on the first day. And then now came the second day I was called in for. Guys, imagine the second day still. I didn't ask for the contract. So yeah, I went the second day, did the makeup. But now, during the second day, time the second day that i was doing the makeup i texted the owner and this is what i texted her by the way <laughs> i texted her because initially she had told me uh, that i'll be absorbed if the team likes my work 
or yeah they wanted to see my work and if the team liked it we'd have continued so this is what i texted her i remember texting her when i was there this is the second day the second day yeah, of the makeup good morning hoping you are well was asking if i'm absorbed in your team whether the model select the makeup it would be an honor working with your team and also an opportunity for growth in my career as a makeup artist kindly let me know thank you and she replied hey let me call you and i remember she immediately called the stylist they talked and after that she gave me a call and she was like yeah we like uh, they liked your makeup and we can work with you and i was like yeah that's great and then i asked her how much are you going to pay and she said um a small amount and i was like you know that amount is so little considering i am using high quality original makeup and uh, she was like, you know, that's the amount uh, uh, the board has placed on makeup and that's what has been there before, which was a lie because the previous makeup, art, uh, makeup team were being paid more than me, like three times my, th twice my, twice or thrice my, the price that she offered me, but she was like, you know, Right now, that's the amount scheduled for, as in placed for makeup, but you can do this, uh, do the makeup, like full glam on the models for this one month, and then we can see if um, I can talk to the board so that they can increase your cash. And I was like, that's fine. So fast forward, one month ended, and now I asked her, what did the board say about increasing the budget for makeup because it's too little and she said that the board refused to add the amount saying that that was what was in the budget before i came which is a lie you know i don't know why people tend to undermine people was it that i was a small makeup artist but anyway miss our oh before i forget uh, I remember them like cause you know the previous makeup artist did come with a makeup chair I was undermined since see a makeup chair you know I'm still a growing makeup artist I didn't have a makeup chair but well I saw what too <laughs> and like the board said if I am not up for that um, I can go but she was like, you know, I said, since I know you and she knows my mom, uh, I told them, no, let us just work with her, nini, nini. you know, that talk. And I, I, I of course, I felt so bad because in short, the first month, Nimenda Hasara, Kabisa, Kabisa, hope, hoping that they would consider me in the second month. And here I am receiving this news. But anyway, I took it as it is and did my work perfectly. Whenever I was corrected, I did take the correction seriously. And, you know, my work was amazing. Like, I look back at the pictures that we took and I, I appreciate that. And I also appreciate the experience because it has taught me a lot. So, yeah. Um, she said so I accepted it even after that I did my work wholeheartedly but now I switched to soft glam because I have gone uh, um, in my part of losses I have already incurred losses for the first month so the second month I wouldn't want to incur a, another loss so I switched to soft glam and I remember during this time when I was getting my first pay, the, the pay for the first month, I asked the HR because they didn't pay me for the first two days. So I texted the HR. Uh, I asked her, I called her actually. I asked her, uh, where is my pay for the first two days? And she said she will communicate to the influencer and then get back to me. I followed up 
and still she was telling me she would get back to me and finally she told me that uh, the owner will pay me directly so i think since that it it passed a week i didn't call the owner because I, I was expecting her to pay me as the hr has said i don't need to follow up if you are to pay me you are to pay me why should i ask you for that so i stayed a week before uh texting her and asking inquiring for the money and this is how our conversation went this is me good morning the name of the person hoping you are well was inquiring about the salary of the week i worked in october she asked how many days and faces i told her two days two models uh yeah i uh, i told her two days two models i thought those days were to test the makeup and i told her yes but i still used my products plus i was doing full glam on them for makeup trials for makeup trials, charges are still applicable. Guys, one thing that I didn't mention. Do you know, during the first um, the first month, November, it reached a point where I didn't have enough money. So I had to borrow a soft loan from my mom. Because going to that place was costly. I used to spend 1200 but then I remember the first day I t I spent 1200 shillings one day on transport alone without food um, I spent that much on transport and here she is texting me this oh I haven't <laughs> read the reply that I got no you begged she even placed the begged in uh, in bold you begged me to try out the makeup uh, on the team you begged <laughs> ah, no you begged me to try out the makeup on the team we had another team perfect working perfectly well hey what work on our audacity hey but then that text really hurt and at least right now I can laugh about it because I'm healed and her karma really found her. <laughs> I believe that. Uh, I shouldn't have to pay for that. That's your customer acquisition cost, not mine. Hey, <laughs> if you're out there, don't expect uh, free makeup trials unless the makeup artist suggest but personally i don't offer free makeup trials i always tell my clients i'd rather i'd rather like reduce the price for you rather than give you a free makeup trial because we are still using the same products and our products are really expensive makeup is really expensive the government placed tax on beauty products you can imagine how expensive it is and then you expect trials to be free the other thing the fact that eh, the, I used my own transport to come to your place and then you're telling me here that <laughs> that was my customer acquisition cost. The fact that a day I used to spend around 900 to 1200 on transport to get to the place where the shoot was being done. Imagine. And then someone comes here to tell you beg first of all i didn't beg her you have seen that i didn't beg her that was see even what we teach kazi at i begged me begging for a job even currently i'd rather not take a job rather than taking a job that someone thinks low of me the fact that also the first month i had to borrow a soft loan for it to cater for my transport and I am here being told I begged for this job and that's my acquisition cost but anyway uh, right now I'm healed and I look back at such and just laugh about it and learn the lessons that I've learned and it's like she was doing me a favor by employing me like yo you didn't do me a favor my work was good that I knew like Najua and 
I didn't expect her, that from her. She really seemed to be a very sweet person from the first day we met, even on social media. Like, she doesn't seem to be that type of a person. But, like, her texting me that. Anyway, the lesson learned in this video is that if you are a freelancer out there, just make sure you don't do any job without signing a contract and don't do a job that people look down upon you. So you should also believe in yourself, be confident in your work, whatever you do. Personally, right now, I can't take any job where I'm looked down upon. I know my potential, I know what I bring to the table, I'm confident enough for the work I do. So no one can bring me down. And if you think that my work is not good, that's good. You can just walk to someone else and be that person to always believe in your work so that you can avoid people looking down upon you. Yeah, and like, you know, some things happening to you just reflect back on what you do to people. People are out here suffering. My case was not the worst. There are people who are making a mother more than me. I wouldn't say that she was a mother. It's just like the way she talked to Vibaya. But like there are people out here who want to make a mother with their employers. And their cry will haunt you down one way or another. Trust you me. If a person cries about you and you're at fault, their tears won't go to waste. God is a god of vengeance he's a just god he sees all this and he'll come for you definitely yeah so yeah anyway guys that's it for today's video i hope this video will help you in one way or another i hope you've also enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video till next time bye